Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you have if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It really helps. So today we are going to talk about my long-term user impressions of this thermal camera dongle. Uh, this one in specific, it's called the X Infrared or InfiniRay uh, T2S Plus. Uh, this particular one has a resolution of 292 uh, by 156, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. In the AliExpress page, I was just looking at it. So yes, 256 by 192. So as, let's look at around the device. It seems to be mostly made out of plastic. It has a USB-C port up top. Yeah, I think it does come in other variations like a lightning port if I'm not wrong. But I bought the USB-C version so I could use it with my Android phone. Uh, it does work with a uh, variety of different apps and some apps on the Windows side as well. So it is very uh, flexible in terms of interface. It comes with this small uh, carrying case. It comes with this lens protector right here. And it has a manual focusing lens uh, over the sensor right here. So let's put it aside and see what else comes in the box. So it comes with this case and it comes with this cable right here. Uh, that has a 90 degree USB-C connector on one side and a female USB-C on the other. Uh, these are some uh, adapters that I purchased. It does not come with this adapter or this adapter and you will see why I bought this one in specific. It just makes it so much easier to use with my phone. So I'm going to connect it to my phone and show you how it looks like. And I'm not going to demonstrate the, the original or the OEM app that it normally comes with because that does not have a lot of features that this app does. It has been getting better, the OEM app, but yeah, I like the third party app better. So as you can see, I will, let's just put this aside. I will use this 180 degree adapter to connect the camera like this. Let's take off the cover and then I will connect it to my phone like this. So as soon as I connect, you heard the clicking noise. So the camera is just calibrating itself. And now, come on. Even this app is a bit buggy. Okay, let's open it again. There we go. So it's telling me that the T2S is connected. And what does the thermal camera do basically? So thermal camera look, uh, is sensitive to infrared spectrum and it can see differences in temperature uh, at whatever you pointed at. So for example, right now, I'm going to place my hand here. And once I take it off, so you will see the remnants of the heat that my hand imparted to that surface. So just to uh, enable you to see what that looks like, uh, I'm going to show you in the other app um, how that interface looks like. So that other app allows you to put a, 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 vi a visible light camera. So one of these three cameras on the back of the phone in the corner. So you have some context what you're looking at. So I said that this device has an adjustable focus and that's actually one of the reasons I purchased this. this Adjustable focus allows you to get really, really close to small objects like circuit boards. So this is a small um, USB-C trigger board and you can see in my hand how big it is. So I'm going to demonstrate getting close to it and showing you that it's still in focus. All right, so let's see if we can change the focus right here. So you see, it's showing me the board and I can get very, very close to it and still focus, you see? I can, these components are very, very small, the ones next to the USB-C port. And now let's go back at the camera and you'll see that I can see them very, very clearly on the individual level. Let's say if one of these was shorted out and it was uh, heating up, I would be easily able to see which one of them has some kind of a problem and it's causing the short. So and this is one of the representations of thermal uh, images uh, come out in. So this is called a palette and you have different ways of representing the information that you're looking at. And this app supports a bunch of them, white hot, black hot, rainbow. So yeah, depending on what you're looking at, one of these palettes might give you a better contrast than others, but yeah. And this has two ranges. It can go up to, I believe, 450 degrees Celsius. So I usually keep it in low range mode up to 120 and it can automatically switch between the two. And now I'm going to show you the original app that it's supposed to be working with. 
perfect and I'm going to put the visible camera right here so you have a reference of what we're looking at they're not aligned so it's not apples to apples but yeah it will give you a good idea of what we're looking at all right yeah that doesn't really help so same thing I'm going to get it close to the circuit board and uh, I'm just going to flip the picture right here so I'm just going to bring it close here I'm going to try to focus there you go you see that's extremely sharp even the smallest so small components are going to be very very much in focus basically it does have a minimum focus distance but for my applications what I use it for small uh, troubleshooting on electronic components it's more than good enough and you can do spot checks you can draw uh, uh, rectangles and it will tell you maximum minimum uh, temperature in that uh, rectangle I've used it to um, troubleshoot my air conditioning unit if it's cooling or not I've used it to uh, troubleshoot circuit boards as I already mentioned so the possibilities are endless you can check your house insulation if it's leaking heat you can do so much with thermal cameras uh, the only limit is your imagination so coming back how has been my uh, usage impression been uh, over the last year since I purchased this I don't use it a lot to be very honest maybe once a month but every time I bring it out uh, this is the only device that can do whatever I need it to do in that instant uh, this adjustable focus I absolutely love it I can use it to uh, look at objects across a room or I could use it to look at objects inches away from it and both will be absolutely perfectly clear uh, the, the reason I went with this form factor instead of uh, having those that look like phones or tablets is that I can change the phone to whatever I want and this device will come along for the ride as long as the phone has USB-C port and is Android so this gives me a clear path to upgrade I don't have to you keep using some clunky tablet with old software that's slow so this gives me the option of using latest phones the thermal camera I want and by the way as I mentioned this also works with Windows so if you look if you're in the market for a thermal camera this is not cheap so if you if you're barely going to use it I would not recommend buying a thermal camera but if you actually have the need for it I would highly recommend this one I absolutely love it especially the adjustable focus feature and I would easily recommend it to anyone who's looking for one I will see you guys in the next video till that time take care bye